Twickenham, the home of rugby. On Premiership final day, it's a wash with colour and sound, with fans descending on south-west London, some of them more familiar than others. For the second year running, the season's showpiece game involved Leicester Tigers and Saracens, but the sense of deja vu didn't end there. Once more, aspiring young rugby players from around the country also got the chance to feel the adulation of the crowd. They were all regional winners of the Land Rover Premiership Rugby Cup, a nationwide tournament for under-11 and under-12 teams. Over 20,000 children have taken part since the tournament began in 2008-2009, and each year the champions have had the chance to soak up the Twickenham atmosphere. Our trophy for winning the Land Rover Cup Festival under 11s. Compete against other teams um, in the Land Rover Cup and we had to get through every round. It's always the believers that we're going to come here in front of a full audience of uh, uh, fans. So uh, yeah, we're all very excited. We really And it's just a once in a lifetime opportunity. Incredible! It's been a great great um, experience for all the boys. Uh, unbelievable. Well, just the whole spirit of being here and having all the people here and the teams play, it's just amazing. It's always outstanding, it's never let me down, no. Yeah, because the atmosphere around is outstanding and you can just see the noise and everything. You get great views of the pitch and it makes you want to play here when you're older. I love rugby and I, this is my dream, play out here. One of the best days of my life. And the action wasn't confined to inside the stadium, with two-wheeled magicians pulling off some hair-raising stunts and those on four wheels showing their own tricks on the Land Rover Terrapod. Amazing, just uh, what, a, what a beast of a machine. It was quite fun when we were going up the slope and um, it was really fun when, um, on that bit when it was tipping. I was a bit nervous at one point when we were tipping and we were just about, we thought we were going to tip over. Yeah, but it was really good. It was really enjoyable. Obviously we put it through a few paces, not traditional driving um, that we'd probably do around the streets, but you know, just one or two times there, there was a feeling of sense of control of it. Very comfortable car. Um, yeah, quite impressed overall really. There was a fair amount of skill shown on the pitch as well, with Saracens gaining revenge for last year's final defeat and beating Leicester by 22 points to 18, despite some massive pressure from the Tigers right up until the final whistle. It may seem a long way from youth rugby to being the best of the Premiership, but these kids are on the right road to success.